Welcome back to WWE 2K23. My GM mode R is for Raw. We are here on week two. We are in fourth place, and we have to book at least one TLC match. And the problem with week one was we only got one rivalry. Our tag team titles have that rivalry, but nobody else. Not Roman and Randy, not anything that I booked on week one. So I can now finally book Maurice and Rhea, because it's heel versus face, bruiser and fighter. That works. And let's see here. In terms of power cards, we have uh, Health Spa. Don't need it. Physio. Don't need it. Do I have anybody? Oh, I do have a lot that are under 60. So yes, uh, let's see here. Rhea, Maurice could use that. Dexter Loomis could use that. Not brute force. I will give it to the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. Certainly in our main event this evening, I think, perhaps, maybe. But what is purchasable? A contract deal to add uh, two weeks to a contract, add four weeks to a contract, and raise the pop of the lowest by five. Uh, that's, again, the lowest for me is unfortunately going to be my job guy, and he has 30. I don't care. I don't care. So, otherwise, one TLC is the plan, and perhaps, depending on the stamina of such thing, let's see what we got here in terms of uh, stamina. So, Rhea at 84, Maurice at 73. Let's do Rhea and Maurice in a TLC match, because that's funny stuff to me. So, Rhea and Maurice, title on the line, and a TLC that meets the goal with the commish. Now, I did not book last time the mid-card title. And so, I want for that mid-card title, Ridge Holland and Akira Tazawa. He nasty. The US title on the line with those two in a standard matchup. That should be okay, hopefully. They are bruiser, fighter. They are face, heel. It should work. Will it? We'll see. Now, I think... Perhaps instead of trying to do a match again, maybe in our third spot here, a call-out promo from Randy calling out Roman because he just lost that title and maybe the chance to begin that rivalry for my main event for Extreme Rules. Otherwise, uh, in the mid-card, we have our, again, tag team baby, which actually is a rivalry, which is nice. And that will go with that, Rude and Dragunov for that non-title on the show today. Which leaves us with what? Oh right, Ivar and Escobar. And neither man, uh, again, Giant Cruiser face heel did not start a rival. Do it again. Just do it again. Because, sure. Now then. That leaves Roman to open the show and increase his popularity. So, there you go. Big dog on that. And we have one unbooked slot. Now, I do want to go look at who might be in the free agents with an R in their name this time. Liv Morgan. That's a possibility there. She is a cruiser. I don't have a giant for her to fight. And Alba is a fighter. Mansois as a cruiser. But I think for a permanent roster spot at 115k, the Aussie icon, Grayson Waller, give me the rub. Give me the Waller effect. And so, of course, he's going to come out and cut a self-promo, because he's here now on Monday Night Raw. Into my logistics, let's spend that cash. Hell yeah. Get that done here for the concert hall. And then I can't do anything else on week two. But hey, I did book one level one or higher. I've already checkmarked my optional goal. I'm sure my opponents will do the same thing. Maybe, perhaps. We'll see. Otherwise, uh, anybody in the Legends here worth hiring that actually has an R in their name. I can't get Austin. I can't get Bret Hart. I could get the dead man, but five weeks to fight who right now? That's kind of the question, to fight who? I don't have an answer to that at the moment. So I will pass on hiring anybody else with an R in their name, like Trish Stratus for 10 weeks. Like, yeah, sure, but again, it's week two. So we'll hold off on that for now. Back out here. And yeah, I don't want to buy any power cards at the moment, so... Here we are, very close, but not where we need to be. So I guess that ends up being our show. Opening with the US title and closing with a TLC for the women's title between Rhea and Maurice. 
And that means I think we are good on booking this show three weeks until Extreme Rules. Have the ambulances ready. In 24, we'll be able to do that finally. It's been a long time. So confirming my booking, let's go. Who will be the inaugural US champion between Ridge and Tazawa? It is Ridge the Fridge. It was mediocre and there is no rivalry. Is this why hard is hard? Also, Roman got zero on that, so that sucks. Meanwhile, mid-card, Ivar, Escobar, Giant, and Cruiser. It is Ivar. And finally, level one on a rivalry. So I got two rivalries going on this show. Grayson Waller gets one on that promo. Our tag team, Beardness. And we have Dragonoff and Rude with the win. Two stars, mediocre, and the rivalry grows. Calling out. Yes, finally, our main event rivalry is happening between Randy and Roman. And your main event. Let's spectate for a little bit. Mainly because these episodes need thumbnails. And so it is indeed Brutality versus ooh Thus far, it's been all Rhea Ripley as it kind of should be with health at least. And Ladder to the Dome for Maurice. Sucks to be you. Uh, ladder in the ring, finally. So far, no chairs or tables being used. STO on the outside just pops right up. No sells the STO entirely. And a nice short-armed Lariat. Kojima Lariat. Ladder is now set up in the center. And Rhea begins the climb and reaches for the title. But here comes Maurice. One pip down. Two pip de pips down and couldn't get that third one. What do we get here at the top? Oh, just a punch to the mouth of Maurice. The power game of Rhea cannot be understated in this division. Bye bye That might be it. That might be it. She's down and out, climbing and new. And new. If Maurice can't get there, she's not going to get there. Unless, unless Rhea botches this thing one more time. And pushes the ladder. Nope, it is. And no Raw Women's Champion. Four stars, amazing. And did that start, yes, a rivalry. We had one good match on this show. Moving on to the blue brand, SmackDown. Zayn and Aziz for the IC title. It's going to be, and still, champion. They start with four stars. Man, I am just going to have a rough time here for the next couple of weeks. In this call out, Balor and Drew, level one rivalry. Mid card backstage brawl between Zoe and Bailey. And we get Bailey on the upside of that one. And four stars. Man, I'm gonna get trounced this whole this whole playthrough. Good from Drew plus two. Mid card tag team titles, and there are no champions yet. So who are the inaugural SmackDown tag team? Champions, it is Massey and Tony. Three and a half stars. And a standard, regular, main event, Asuka, the champion, Baszler, the challenger. And it is, no one is ready for Asuka. Three stars. So that's not good booking. If you open on a four and close on three, nah. Meanwhile, NXT, we have a tag team opener, Blair, Bliss, Becky, and Dewdrop. And it is going to be Becky and Dewdrop. Three and a half stars for those women's tag team titles. Cameron Grimes, Andre Chase. It's going to be Chase U. And one and a half. Disappointing. Extreme Rules Triple Threat. Shanky, Angel, and John Cena. But no title on the line from Angel. So, alright. And a do 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 do. There we go. So that increases the Shanky and Angel feud and gets them three and a half stars. And Cena says, you're welcome. And your main event, Hell in a Cell, R-Truth, Carrying Cross, no title because they aren't champions, and an MVP run-in and Carrying Cross. Three and a half stars, level zero to level one, between MVP and Truth. And WCW, Uncle Howdy, Rey Mysterio, and The Miss. And no! WCW Heavyweight Champion, Uncle Howdy. 
Sheamus cut in front of his one mid card Stratton and Mercedes. It is Monday. Mediocre Monday. Gunta calling out the hardcore champion Ali. It was good. Mid card Batista Logan Paul. Two, three, and it's the animal Batista. Two and a half new rivalry. Your main event tables match women's title. Rowdy, Ronda Rousey, Nikita Lyons, and Ronda retains that title, three and a half stars. Which brings us to SmackDown, I'm gonna continue to run this entire thing, cause good God, having good matches. That was a poor finale, I told you, I told you. And good booking on NXT and also on WCW, but more importantly, what do the numbers show? 42,000 new fans and 35 in the budget. Well, I like tonight's Raw. Keep them coming. SmackDown does 49 and gets paid out negative 21. Good job, SmackDown. NXT gets 41 and they make 16. And Sting does 46 and that makes him 62 on his. And he needs it. Look at his starting cash there. It's low. And so, free crew booking. You save that for pay-per-view. And still in last place. So, 1108, 1086, 1083, and 1074. Which means I am trailing by almost 9,000 fans to third place. So, gotta make up that gap somehow, some way in Des Moines next time. So, high emotional intensity with that tag team match playoff. Oh, they jumped two levels. I didn't even notice. Awesome, I'll take it because that could possibly be at four to main event pay-per-view. And Maurice wants her mandatory rematch clause. Sure, I can do that with you, Maurice. Sounds good, perhaps at pay-per-view. And so we have made that promise to Maurice. Also, she's good at TLC matches. Sure, okay, and at least one backstage brawl on the next show. And now we can go to the Capitol Wrestling Center. And I have plenty of money to do that. But in the meanwhile, on the season, yeah, SmackDown with that early lead here, and it's gonna be a rough time for the next couple of weeks, but hey, I'm doing what I can, heading towards 2K24. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time, and I'm out.